What's up everyone? Welcome in the next video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Bart and this is my 2006 decommissioned ambulance that I've been building out for the past few months. One of the recent upgrades to this project is that I finally got a table saw. If you had a chance to watch any of my previous videos, you could see that I've been cutting everything with a jigsaw and this is a huge game changer. It saves me so much time on sending the pieces that I cut. It's just great. In my last camper van, under the bed in the back, I had some utility drawers and starting this project I knew I want the same thing I wanted to use this space as best as possible and utility drawers like this in my opinion are the best way to use this space and have a functional storage under your bed that's why I built two of those utility drawers in the back of my ambulance the drawers in the back of the ambulance are sitting on heavy duty drawer slides and those slides are rated to 250 or 300 pounds a set so you could pretty much load up those drawers with anything you want you could pretty much also stand on them and nothing's gonna happen i had drawer slides like this in my previous camper van and they're super durable and they last forever my idea for this storage is to use this for stuff that I don't use every day that's why I build it on the left side of the back of the ambulance have some extra storage here on this shelf and put the most used items in the back on the right side the drawers are about three three and a half feet long if I remember it right, because as you can see, I have the freezer under the bed on that side. Recently, I've also finished setting up everything in my kitchen area. This is the final fitting. This is how it's gonna look. The only difference is the color of the countertop, but first it needs some sanding because there's few imperfections that I don't like. And the thing that I'm gonna be finishing today is also a drawer right here under the stove. I want to use this space as much as possible, build a big slide out drawer for, I don't know, kitchen utensils and stuff like that and use the bottom part as a cabinet for pots and pans. Nothing in the kitchen is mounted yet as you can see everything's loose because I just placed it here to see if I like the overall look of this kitchen area. The cool thing I found on Amazon was this little pop-out outlet. It's not mounted yet so it might have some difficulties opening. Oh there you go. It's a pretty cool thing. It saves you space and if you build a camper van the way I'm doing it without any projects or uh, previous plans uh, you can't really plan an outlet in the wall so that's why I decided to use this and honestly I like it a lot. The little kitchenette isn't our only counter space. We're gonna have more counter space on this side. This is our little pantry that slides out. There's a big drawer and there's gonna be two or three shelves inside. But also right here, I already have it ready. There's gonna be a countertop folded down on special hinges that you can just fold up and extend your counter space for another i think two and a half feet recently i've also did some changes to my electrical cabinet i've added this 40 amp solar charge controller and as you can see there's two of them why i'll show you that in a second but i wanted to show you the cabinet in general so you can see how i've built my electrical installation i think i manage those wires pretty well and if i ever decide to sell this camper van in the future the next person shouldn't have any issues with understanding what i've did in this electrical cabinet and if you had a chance to watch my previous videos you know that I have 400 amps of lithium batteries here in this camper van to avoid situations with charging the batteries on a cloudy day I've added more solar panels at first I had only those three 100 watt solar panels in the front and recently I've added those two 200 watt solar panels which are plugged into that new solar charge controller and honestly I really like this setup how it came out with the whole roof rack if you haven't seen the previous videos I've built this roof rack myself because if you're in the market for buying um, old ambulance very quickly you're gonna find out that there is no roof racks for ambulances and yes you can screw in everything to the roof because this construction is very durable but I was trying to avoid making holes in the roof that's why I decided to build this custom aluminum roof rack and right now honestly I'm super proud of it how it looks because if you're gonna look on this camper van from the ground level you're gonna notice that the roof rack changes the overall appearance of this camper 
driven with some off-road lighting the black aluminum roof rack looks just great in my opinion so this is how it looks and like I said if you haven't seen the previous videos and you're interested how the things were done go back watch them I'll post the whole playlist to the build under this video very fast day by day I'm getting closer and closer to finishing this project or actually getting to the last stage of this build because after finishing all of the furniture and the drawer under the stove is the last thing that I'm gonna be building for now after that I'm gonna have to proceed to the next stage which is gonna be prepping everything for painting and staining the counters. That's why I'm gonna spend a lot of time today on sending those countertops to make them beautiful and make them look really good in the final effect when I'm gonna finish this camper van. But before we're gonna start building anything, I gotta take off this sweatshirt because God damn, it's hot today. It's middle of February and it's 69 outside. Beautiful day. To build a camper van and if you like and enjoy this content please consider subscribing to my channel and let's build a camper van reinforcements have arrived reinforcements <laughs> some energy and some sparkling water yes. hi how are you doing <laughs> good how are you good ready yeah okay let's go So I've been sitting here and kind of thinking how to build this drawer. My initial idea was to do it right here under the stove. But then I realized one thing, um, the mounting point for the hose for propane can't be really bent or I can't really do anything with it. So when I'm gonna attach the hose, I'm gonna lose probably another, I don't know, two three inches something something like this so I would lose a lot of space unless I would build the drawer around this hose and that's kind of pointless and that's a lot of work and it's very unnecessary so I decided to build the main kitchen drawer here on the bottom of this shelf so the drawer is going to be right here and over here I'll build another shelf and this is going to be a cabinet for pots and pens and stuff like that. I think this is the better solution. And I think this way I'm going to utilize most of this space. Unfortunately, yesterday we ran out of daylight, but we did a lot. We finished all of the furniture that is going to be here inside of this camper van. And after that, we started working on the cabinet doors because the materials from Home Depot are very low quality, in my opinion. And those boards have multiple cracks and holes. So we spent almost two hours just fixing all of those imperfections because you might know or maybe not, as soon as you're going to put any type of paint or anything on those boards everything's gonna show and it's gonna look even worse than when it's not painted so 
we've spent almost two hours just fixing that. All of the cabinet doors are already sanded and ready to be primed and painted and right now I'm gonna start sending all of the furniture here inside of the camper van. Uh, I took out all of the drawers and all of my stuff just to have a clean working space. It's gonna get really dusty over here. One more thing I didn't show you, but I did it a few days ago. I mounted those electrical outlets. They're plugged into my three and a half thousand watt inverter and they're gonna be mounted probably somewhere here or a little bit higher just as extra power outlets if I need to plug in some bigger devices or maybe charge a battery to a e-bike. I don't know yet. I did this and for now it's very useful because I can plug in any power tools here in the back. this beautiful day outside almost clear sky it's about 65 to 68 degrees it's just a wonderful day to build a camper van by the way I'm almost done sending everything inside I just have few little spots left and some corners where I have to do it by hand and after that I'm gonna start priming everything and then I have to choose some colors and start painting the interior um, honestly right now exhausted because this was taking forever just to send everything and prep it for paint but I'm also really excited to share my future adventures with you guys so if you like content like this please consider subscribing to my channel leave a comment leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one bye